Hey guys, Magnolia Root Productions here today. Today we are reviewing the Charles W. Morgan by Revel. This is the original 1968 release. It's a beautiful kit. It's old, but it's a good kit. So, first thing you do when you open up the box, you get this big instruction page. And, as you can see, copyright 1968 several pages I mean you got all of your all of your instructions set this aside right here the next thing you get these are your rat lines now they're supposed to sit like this now keep this in mind because you also have your patterns so basically these will go like this and you'll line them up with the patterns so they'll sit like this and you'll line them up and then cut them that's very important remember to use this because otherwise these will not cut straight then you get this is very thin vacuum formed plastic they're numbered and they're, le they're lettered. These are the sails and the covers. Very thin vacuum form. Then you've got the hull itself. All the You've got the wood grain detail, and you've got the copper plating detail. Then you've got the deck. And you've got this little piece of paper that has all the naval flags on it. And you'll basically cut these flags out, and then you fold, then you follow the instructions. You fold them over, you dampen them, and then fold them over the rigging. So that's, they're twice as long. You'll fold it in half over the rigging line to actually hang the flags. I got this kit used off of eBay secondhand. All the parts should be here. You have the back to the ship itself. Um, the guy that I got it from put all the small parts that had come off the sprues in this Ziploc bag. He assured me that everything was, in fact, here included in the kit. Um, we'll, we'll see, to be sure. But you've got all of these awesome pieces of plastic, uh, very old plastic. Um... Now, contained in here somewhere are the parts. I think this is the part for the brickworks. Um, this kit does actually have... Um, here's the, the parts to start building the masts. The masts are multi-piece that you have to put together, by the way. There are no big main masts. Then you've got the rest of your, basically the rest of your detail pieces, your little whale boats and everything else. Um, and that's about everything else. There's some assorted small parts. Now, this kit, um, I have, I've got to put it together. So eventually I'll figure out whether I've got all the parts or not. But this is the original 1968 released kit. Um, so everything you see here is what you would have opened in the box in 1968 when this was brand new. Now this kit is no longer in production, so finding it is going to be very difficult, and if you can find one, it is not going to go very cheap. Uh, I got this luckily from somebody that was in no desire to make money off of it, and... This is the kit that I ended up with, but as you can see, the box itself had some had some wear on it, and it's uh, quite some old cardboard. 
But that artwork, that artwork on the cover is amazing. But that's the kit, guys. Um, overall, the kit brand new when it was new probably cost less than $20 uh, back then. And today, a kit of this size would probably be closer to $60. Um, overall, for what I paid for it, it seems to be a good model. And uh, overall, if you can find a, uh, a copy of it or you can find another version and you don't want to spend the money on building an actual wooden model of this vessel, this is definitely the way to go. Thanks.